Hey guys, welcome back. I'm so glad you're here. Welcome to the Begin Series. And today what we're going to do is a 30 minute standing core and boxing workout. Okay, so we're gonna do everything in the standing position. We're gonna really work that core, a lot of balance and coordination. And we're also gonna pump that heart a little bit with some boxing moves. It'll be a lot of fun. So you don't need any equipment outside of a sweat towel drink. And of course, your great attitude. Let's get this thing rocking. Okay, so hope you had a chance to grab your sweat towel, your drink, and your great attitude. If so, let's get warmed up. Let's start with just opening and closing that chest. And I want you to throw those thumbs up and around. Oh, we're so glad we're here today. Oh yeah, we've got three more like this. Two more. Oh, last one, let's hinge down. Let's give me some big swings, really working those shoulders. Three more like this. Two more. Last one, we're gonna throw those thumbs up towards the ceiling. Big so wings, oh yeah. And then we're gonna stand all the way up and now throw them up over your head. Boom, boom, three more like this. Two more, oh, last one. This time we're gonna twist and just crunch to the side. Just a nice good twist. You're gonna just keep your arms right up here like, um, like a goal pose. And then we're just driving that knee and that trunk. Two more on each side. Oh, last one. This time we're gonna do the same thing, but we're gonna kick our leg out straight. Start gliding that hamstring. Woo -hoo -hoo. You don't have to touch your toe, but that direction. One more on each side. And then stay in this position. We're gonna hinge down and touch the opposite toe. Boom, right there, down and up. One more on each side. Last one. This time let's hinge back and then hinge down, okay? So you're gonna open up that hip and then you're gonna hinge down. Still gliding those hamstrings, opening up those hips. Last one, we're gonna hinge back and then we're gonna stay low. We're gonna kinda deepen that squat and then press those knees back. Squat, press those knees back. It's okay if you're not touching the floor. You're just going deeper into that squat, pressing those knees back, two more. Okay, last one. This time we're gonna be in that low position. It can be however low you can go and you're just gonna open up those hips. Gotta get those hips moving for all of this. Three more like this. Two more. Last one, let's put those hands on those knees. Let's do a cat and cow. In and out, in and out. We've got three, two, last one. This time we're gonna open up those hips. Okay, drive them open and, and drive that shoulder to the opposite knee. Oh, doesn't that feel good? Yeah. One more on each side. Okay, and in this low position, you're gonna kind of keep your arms and pull over, and you're gonna twist open to the ceiling, and you're kind of unlocking that thoracic spine, which is that mid back. Boom. Boom. Let's do one more on each side. Oh, yeah. Let's come on up. We're gonna do a big hula hoop. Woo, rock those hips, baby. We're gonna rock them the other way. Nice big motion, okay? Now we're gonna do a big hip circle, boom. Right up and over. We're going the other direction, up and over. Other side, big hip circle, boom. Other direction, up and over. Nice work, okay? Big circles right here on those shoulders. Circle the other way. Oh yeah, keep those hands nice and straight. We're gonna squeeze those shoulder blades. Kinda want those shoulder blades working right, especially when we do those boxing activities. Just some activation. Two more. Last one, this time we're gonna pull them down and squeeze those shoulder blades. So you're gonna feel like you're pulling those shoulder blades down. Drive those elbows in. Two more. Oh yeah, last one. This time we're gonna come out. We're gonna go internal and external rotation. Like I said, work in that shoulder, still work in that trunk. Oh yeah. Last one. So then we're gonna step and press our heel, just kinda get the back of that shoulder a little bit. Step and twist. Woo. Okay, last one. Now we're gonna go to the diagonal and we're gonna finish here. This is all we got. Last one on each side. Let's talk about what we're gonna do. We're gonna crunch to one side. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna crunch over to that side, okay? If you want to, you can squat down just a little bit. You're gonna crunch that side. We are gonna work for 30 seconds on the right, 30 seconds on the left. We're gonna go twice through that. It'll be a lot of fun. 
we're gonna enjoy that, okay? So again, I'm not coming forward. I'm going straight to that side and back down. You ready to try this with me? Here we go in three, two, one. We're going to the side and back, okay? So you're working those obliques to crunch you in, okay? I want you to picture you're squeezing that as you come up, but guess what? You're using the other side to pull you back up, okay? So I'm staying in that nice position right up front. I'm going just straight to the side and back up. Come on. You got 10 more seconds. Squeeze that and drive that back up for five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, same thing, but we got to go the other side, right? We got to even ourselves out. Here we go. Left side in three, two, one. Crunch that down and drive that up. Now, I'm staying left side because I started on my right. You can start on your left and go to your right as long as you're doing twice on each side, right? I want to make sure you're evening it all out. Wrench it down. Boom. And back, okay? You're going to really feel like you're really using those muscles to crunch you down and using the other side to open you back up. Oh, yeah. We've got four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, guess what? We're going to do one more on each side, okay? So back to the other side. Here we go. We've got three, two, oh, one. Crunch that down and back. You just crunch it to it and driving it back up. Okay, really feel like you're using those to pull you back up. Crunch that down and pull it back up. Okay, I really like standing abs because we're having a, right now, it may not be challenging on our balance, but we're gonna get there. Okay, so we're gonna work on some balance and coordination by in these standing positions. We gotta love it. Here we go, five. Four, three, two, one, and rest. We got the other side, and then we're done with this. Okay? Woo, baby. Here we go. We've got three, two, one. Crunch that to the side and back. Boom. And back. Like I said, really picture the muscles contracting to close that gap, and the other side really contracting to pull you back up. When we really think about what muscle groups we're using, guess what? Our mind and body connection is so much stronger. We're more effective. It's awesome. Okay, so really picture that. Here we go. Finish up. We've got three, two, one, and a rest. Okay, shake that out. Okay, now we're going to start to add some balance in there, okay? So we're going to take that right elbow, and we're going to crunch it down to our opposite knee, okay? So think about like when you're on the floor and you're going to crunch. Now, am I pulling on my head? No. I've just got that right there lightly touching and I'm do I have to have my elbow touch my knee no okay I just want a nice solid crunch you may need to be by a couch or a wall for safety okay work on that balance here we go three two one drive that knee to that elbow okay like I said doesn't have to touch but you got to work in that direction crunch it down boom and back crunch and back come on crunch out all the way up Boom, and back. You got it. Drive it and pop it. Move it and shake it. 10 more seconds, right? Drive and crunch. Woo, we've got five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Guess what? We got the other side now, right? You got to even that baby out, okay? So, elbow to knee. Here we go. Opposite side in three, two, one. Okay, so we are using those abs to crunch us down. Okay, so we're working that rectus abdominis, that front one. We're working some of the lower abs as we drive that hip up. And then we're working those obliques as we twist to the opposite side. Totally getting all those abs in there. We're working deep hip muscles, which are part of the core, because we're doing standing single side, standing activity. We are just totally multi multitasking with this. Finish here for three, two, one, and rest. Guess what? One more on each side. Feeling awesome and amazing. Here we go. In three, two, one. Crunch that down. Like I said, I love working on balance. If you don't use it, you lose it. That's why we were so great as kids. We were always on the jungle gym. Okay, and that helps us stay nice and balanced. And then as adults, we, we get lazy and we don't practice it. So I really force the practice while doing certain activities like this to really get us practicing that balance. But I want you to stay safe. So if you struggle with balance, I want you near a wall or a couch or something to touch when you need to. Here we go. Three, two, 
One and rest. Okay, last set. You ready to rock this? Here we go. In <clears throat> three, two, one. Drive and crunch. So every time I say we're challenging the balance system, I want you working on that. Okay, we don't challenge it if we're always touching something, okay? But I need you to be safe. I don't want you to fall. So you have something nearby and you touch as you go. It starts learning the system. You start getting better. Okay, so you gotta just challenge that system. Finish here for five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, so this time what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a crunch forward. Okay, so we're gonna come forward as we drive that knee in, okay? So before we were twisting, we're coming straight down and driving that front knee, okay? So we'll do front knee on the right, and then we'll turn around and do front knee on the left. Okay, here we go. Again, don't pull on that head, just there for safety, or for a touch. Here we go, three, two, one. Crunch that in and back again. Here we go, working on that single leg balance. Crunch as low as you can go. Drive that knee up and crunch down both directions. Crunch and back. Crunch and back. You got this. Boom. Nice and controlled. Crunch it in. 10 more seconds on this side. Three, two, one, and rest. Guess what? We got the other side. <laughs> Again, don't pull on that head. Just have those lightly there. Here we go. We've got three, two, one, boom. Now, crunch it in. Okay, for the second set on each side, you can stick with this, or you can go with me. We're gonna do a little bit different. I'm gonna keep my arms nice and tall above my head, and I'm gonna keep my legs straight. So I'm gonna make a longer lever arm, a little more challenging. Okay, so you can stick with this, or you can go with me onto the challenge. Up to you. Here we go. Finish strong on this side. We've got five. Four, three, two, one, and rest. I'm gonna have my arms up high, and I'm gonna crunch that right in. You ready to try this with me? Here we go in three, two, one, crunch, and back, crunch, and back. So I'm, I'm just hinging down and driving that hip right up there. Okay, a little bit longer lever arm, but I'm still crunching down, boom, and back. Again, you can stick with what we were doing before. Totally fine. Join me, it's up to you. You're still getting challenged, I know it. Ooh, and back, come on, here we go. We've got five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, let's finish these out on this side. Lots of fun, here we go. We've got three, two, one, crunch that in and back. Boom, and back, down. Crunch it in, and back. 15 more seconds, Woo yeah. All the way to that buzzer, give me that full 30 seconds. Come on, crunch it in, keep focused. Four, three, two, one, and rest, nice job, okay. We're gonna have this long lever arm. We're gonna go from our bottom of one hip, so my right hip, all the way up to my opposite left shoulder, okay? So I'm gonna go into a diagonal and back down. I'm gonna rotate through my trunk, okay? So I'm gonna rotate up and back down. Rotate up and back down. A nice little diagonal, long lever arm. Here we go. Okay, got this side in three, two, one. Boom, and back and down, up, and over. Drive it up, and over, boom, and back. Okay, up and over. I love diagonals, okay? It gets multi-planes, which is actually really functional, okay? We do not live in one plane, okay? We live in multi-planes, right? So this is nice functional work here. We've got four, three, two, one, and rest. Guess what? We're gonna go from the opposite hip to the opposite shoulder. Okay, so we even that baby out. Here we go in three, two, one. Up and over, boom, and back. Drive it up, okay? Twisting through that trunk. My hip follows those arms, okay? 
I'm twisting up, hand over. Boom, hand back. Drive it up and over. Nice work, you got 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, one more on each side. Okay, again, keeping that nice long lever arm twisting up. Here we go. In three, two, one, drive it up and over. Boom, and back. Nice and controlled, drive it up, pop it back down, boom. Keeping that nice, good long lever arm, nice, good little twist from that trunk. Boom, and back. Halfway there on this side, and then we'll finish out on the other side. Because you know I love to keep you guys even Stevens. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, last one, okay? Opposite side, we're going up and over. We're gonna have a lot of fun. Here we go in three, two, one, up and over. Drive it up and pop it over. Boom, and back. Okay, so this is our last standing ab activity. We are going into doing some punch or some boxing moves, okay? And we're gonna pump that heart, okay? So all the moves are gonna be single-sided, okay? We're sticking with a single side, okay? Twice on each side, because it's gonna be a lot of fun, right? But we're gonna finish here for five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Take that out. Okay, we're starting with a punch. We're gonna keep that hand near that face. On that right side, we're gonna punch, boom, boom. And you're gonna pop it, okay? And then we'll switch sides. We'll do two on each side. Be a lot of fun, okay? But you make sure you're keeping the core engaged. Your knees are slightly bent because you're using that uh, whole upper body for it, okay? You ready to try this? Woo. Oh yeah, here we go. Right side, in three, two, one. Boom, 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 okay? So I'm popping right in front, boom. And I'm giving like a pop, right? Like I'm gonna hit a punching bag right there at that eye level. Boom, 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 come on. Pop it, move it, shake it. Come on, 15 more seconds, then we'll do the other side. Keep going as you get more comfortable. Go a little bit faster. Come on, you wanna pump that heart for four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, we're doing the other side, left side. Woo. Okay, a nice good pop. Here we go in three, two, one, drive it. Remember, you're keeping those knees slightly bent. Okay, you got a little bit of a shift on those weights, on that weight back and forth. You're popping, you're keeping the other hand up there to guard you. Pop it, pop it. Pop it, we're pumping that heart, okay? Go a little bit faster, go a little bit harder, okay? Pump that heart, right? Let's get that nice and strong. Let's go. And guess what? Totally working the core the entire time, and we're in a standing position. What? Here we go. Three, two, one, and rest. Oh, yeah. Okay, we got one more on each side, because that sounds like fun. Back to that right side. Here we go in three, two, one. Boom, boom. Boom, come on, pop it, move it, shake it, let's go. Give me all you got. You should be a lot more warmed up, you should be a lot more comfortable. You can get a little bit more oomph. Boom, 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 come on. Halfway there, and then we're gonna go to the other side. Oh, let's go, boom, boom, boom. Ooh, baby, yeah, I always love when I do anything boxing or kickboxing. We've got four, three, two, one and rest, last one of these punches. We've got that left side in three, two, one. Here we go, boom, boom, boom. Pop, move, shake. Remember, those knees are bent and we are using that core to stabilize and to drive that punch. Are we using our upper body? Of course, but we are using so much core right here. Boom, boom, boom. Come on, 15 more seconds. Come on, your heart should be pumping. You should be feeling great right here. Here we go. We've got five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Nice job. Okay, so this time we're doing a hook. That's when our palm faces us and we go out wide, right? I'm using my core to drive it around, okay? And then I'm gonna do an uppercut where I come underneath. Again, I'm coming from under my hip, so I'm coming out wide, underneath. We're gonna do the right side, 
to the left side. Right, nice good pattern. So we're going into a hook, into an uppercut. You're ready to rock this? Here we go in three, two, one. Hook, uppercut, hook, uppercut. Notice how much my hips are moving. They're going with that arm. I'm using my entire body, right? And guess what I'm using a lot of? Yeah, you guessed it, the core, right? That is what we're working on today. Okay, just working on it a different way. Okay, boom, over, under, over, under. Come on, finish strong on this side for five, four, three, two, one, and rest. We got the other side. We wanna even this baby out. So we're doing that hook, coming in and doing that uppercut. Are you ready to rock this in three, two, one, hook, uppercut, hook uppercut get me like you're gonna pop it boom okay and we're gonna have so much more strength and stability when we try from those hips boom okay we're using our whole body I'm not gonna be very strong if I just use my arms but if I use that whole body and follow through man quite the pop right and also we're gonna use so much more body pump that heart more Woo! here we go three two one and rest one more time on each side. Woo. Oh yeah, here we go. Hook, uppercut in three, two, one. Hook, uppercut, hook, uppercut. Come on, boom, boom. Pop it, move it, shake it. Woo. Okay, drive it. This should be giving your heart beat up there, okay? That's the whole point. We're, we're pumping that heart as we still work that core in standing, right? All of those things. Come on, keep going. Pop it, move it, shake it. We've got five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, last one of these. Other side. Woo, here we go. In three, two, one. Come on, drive it over and under, over, under. Come on, boom. So this is a great workout too. If you ever wanted to do something like you're traveling, right? And you're like, oh, I, can, I don't have a lot of space. I don't have any equipment. So I can do things like this in my hotel room, right? You notice we didn't use very much space, right? And we got a great workout in, right? We're pumping that heart. We're moving and we're shaking. We're working strength. Oh yeah, here we go. Three, two, one, and rest. Nice job, shake those arms out. Okay, we are going to do a speed bag just on one side. So. We're just gonna pretend like you have those little speed bags, right? Like, like Rocky or Muhammad Ali, right? Boom. And you're gonna do as fast as you can. We're gonna do 30 seconds on the right, 30 seconds on the left. And I'm gonna tell you right now, those shoulders are gonna burn out. <laughs> it's a lot, but it'll be fun, okay? We're gonna pump that heart. We're gonna have some energy. Here we go in three, two, one, pump. Boom, boom, boom. How fast can you move that, okay? Picture that speed bag right there. Okay, my knees are still slightly bent, and guess what? I am in totally engaged my core. I can't have strong arms without that nice strong core. Come on, pump it, move it, shake it, let's go. You've got 10 more seconds on this side. All the way to that buzzer, don't shortchange me. Here we go. Three, two, one, and rest. Okay, other shoulder. That one's needing to rest. Okay, we got that other side. Here we go in three. Two, one, speed back. And yes, whoo, you can definitely tell I'm not as coordinated on this side, but am I doing it? Absolutely. <laughs> I can't get better on coordination if I don't practice something. So yeah, does it feel a little bit awkward? Absolutely. But I'm working on it, I'm pushing myself. You're doing great. Hang in there, 15 more seconds. <sighs> oh, come on, pump, move, shake, you got this. All the way to that buzzer, don't start changing it. I know, that shoulder gets tired. Here we go, four, three, Two, one, and rest. Okay, one more time on each side, okay? So we're going back to that right side. Give that left side a break. Shake that out. Here we go in three, two, one. Here we go, speed back. Again, knees are slightly bent. Core's engaged, right? I can feel my glutes. I can feel my abs, right? They're all engaged. And of course I can feel that shoulder. Boom, boom, boom. That speed back right there. Woo. Okay, just picture it. Boom, boom, boom. Come on, keep going, keep going, keep going. You got it all the way to that buzzer. We are almost there for four, three, two, 
one and rest. Oh yeah. Last one on this side, okay? Left side. This is it. Here we go. Last speed bag in three, two, one. Okay. Come on. All you got. Come on. And then we only have one more activity after this, okay? Of course, twice through on each side, but only one more. Come on. Keep going. Push, push, push. Really should be pumping that heart rate. We're working that arm. We're going with some speed. Come on, push it, push it, push it. Woo, 10 more seconds. I know, I'm right there with you. My shoulders are like, give me a break, give me a break. Here we go, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Shake those arms out. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a cross from the front. So I'm gonna, I'm not crossing over to the side of my body, I'm crossing over to the front. So I'm gonna kind of use that whole body, cross it, and then I'm gonna come punch in the front. So I'm not gonna jab, jab's quick. I'm gonna cross, punch, cross, punch. And again, using those abs that entire time. You ready to try this? Here we go in three, two, one. Cross it, pop it, front, okay? So it's a cross to the, like the opposite shoulder and then a punch from the front, boom. You're going right in front of the shoulder, one on the opposite shoulder, one in front of the shoulder you're punching with, boom. Boom, and my knees are slightly bent. And man, I am using that core to give me some oomph behind those pops. Come on, you got this. Y'all staying at that high level. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, I got the same thing on the other side, okay? Knees are slightly bent. Engage that core. Here we go in three, two, one. Cross, front, cross, front, boom. Boom, knees slightly bent, core engaged, drive from those hips. Keep that other hand right up there by that face, keeping that punch at that high level. Pop it, come on, 15 more seconds. Oh yeah, here we go, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, guess what? One more on each side, that's all we've got. Give me all you've got. Come on, empty that tank out. You got this in three, two, one. Okay, last time of a right side of the activity, okay? Boom. So I want some a little bit stronger pop, a little bit more speed, a little bit more um. I want you to give me all you got. Finish strong, make you feel amazing today. Come on, okay, we feel great. We get a high from a dopamine kick when we know we accomplished something and we feel good about it. Okay, so give me all you got. Don't shortchange yourself. Here we go. Three, two, one, and rest. Okay, left side. 30 seconds of work. Give me all you got. Then we're resting. Here we go. Three, two, one. Come on, cross it, front. We got our favorite part, the cool down after this, but I want you going all the way to the buzzer. I want you giving me all you got. Come on, you can empty that tank. You can do it. Boom. Okay, keep working that core, working that heart, pumping and moving and shaking. Okay, we about 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Shake those out. Okay, let's pull that arm across. Let's get that shoulder. Okay, and then make sure it's dropped down and then pulled. Oh, that feels so good, right? Definitely worth those shoulders today. Okay, we're gonna go to the other side, pull that across. Ooh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, and then we're gonna tilt and pull that forward and get a hip flexor in there, and then we're gonna lean over. So we're gonna really stretch out that trunk. Okay, we work those laterals, right? And that hip flexor when we're doing those crunches. Okay, let's do the other side. Tilt that pelvis forward, bring it forward, and then lean over to that side. Nice work. Yeah. Woo. Okay, come on up. We're gonna do a nice good C position. You're gonna press that low back out and you're gonna press those shoulder blades out. Okay, relax it and do it one more time. Press those shoulder blades out, tuck that head down. And then we're gonna lift those hands right up and over and extend back as far as you can go. Extend back, come back to the center. And you're gonna pull through that shoulder. Give me a little bit of tug, a little bit of traction through that shoulder. And then relax, and then the other side. A little bit of traction through that shoulder. Oh, 
Yeah, then we're gonna take those arms right behind our head. I'm gonna open up those shoulders. Kind of squeeze those shoulder blades. Oh, relax one more time. Open up those shoulder blades. Woo. And then we're gonna take those arms right behind and we're gonna open it up again. Let's look over that right shoulder. Let's look over that left shoulder. Relax, open that up again. Let's tilt that head to the side. That feels so good. Let's tilt it to the other side. Oh yeah. And relax, this time we're gonna open it up and we're gonna tuck our head in and back. Tuck our chin in and back. And then let's finish up, grab it inside and just really pull out so you get those shoulder blades out for three, two, one. High five, rocking that way to go, way to really challenge that balance. Grab some water and some high quality protein and then have a great day. Hey, did you love that video? Did you know this is part of a series? It's my begin series. It's designed for those who are beginning or beginning again. I need to slow things down. I wanna make sure that you like and subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you never miss what's coming up and you can hit the entire series. This is designed for you. This is to help you pursue that excellence and really build that body up. When you're done with the begin series, join in on the other series. You're gonna be feeling right along with the rest of us. I wanna make sure that you realize it's about being the best version of you. It's not about pacing with me, it's about pacing with you. It's about pushing yourself wherever you're at, pushing that and continually getting better. I'm here to help you and encourage you. So make sure we're friends and on social media so you can always see some tips and connection. Even if you need some extra coaching, I love helping women feel the best version of themselves. So again, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and then have a great day.